So let's talk about you being tired. Everyone feels tired a lot of the time. People, for me, are not on top of their energy. I'm gonna do an eight part series on why you might feel tired. Rule number one is sleep. Now, I know sleep's talked about all the time. Get a good night's sleep, yada, yada, yada. How many of you are actually getting a good night's sleep? Because it's really, really, really important. I know how I feel if I get a bad night's sleep. I know the difference between going to bed at 10.30 at night and 11.30 at night. So we've got a body clock. Our body clock is gonna wake us up roughly at the same time every day. My body likes to wake me up at half five. Now, if I go to bed at half 10, that's absolutely fine. That's enough sleep for me, that's seven hours. Now on the flip side of that, if I go to bed at 11.30, I've already lost an hour's sleep because the chances are my body's gonna wake me up at 5.30. So it's really important that you get to sleep on time. You need to take away the distractions that are stopping you from getting to bed in time. Stop flicking around on Facebook before you go to bed. Stop flicking through Instagram, next scroll, next scroll, next scroll. Stop being on YouTube, oh the next video, oh a cat's fallen off a cliff. Invest time in getting your sleep on track. Work out what you need to do before you go to bed to get you in a restful state of sleep. Playing on your phone, watching TV, doing these kind of distracting things allows time to just run away with itself. Have a routine. At 9.30, my phone goes off. At 10 o'clock, I'm in bed and I'm reading a book or I'm socializing with my girlfriend or boyfriend. Bring a relaxing strategy into play. Make time for sleep. Too many of us are not making time for sleep. It's the thing that gets left behind when we get a little bit busy or something interesting becomes on TV. Now, to expand on that even more, let's talk about quality of sleep. If you're waking up in the middle of the night, I would argue that you are too stressed during your daily routine. One of the most common things that I find with coaching individuals is that if you wake up during the night, you've got too much going on in your lifestyle. Too much training, too much stress, too much going on at work, the family life. You've got things bugging on your brain. And then if you wake up during the night, especially if you're that thinker type person, the chances are you then are lying awake going, oh God, what about that? What about that? What about that situation? Deal with that kind of stuff within your environment. So that's my first tip on this series of why you feel tired. Make sure you're investing in sleep and let's get you feeling a lot more awesome. If you want help on your health, fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle, click the link in the description box and I'll send you a free ebook to help. Hi, welcome to an eight part series. This is video number two on why you feel tired.